is I'm going to install a vent in the peak of the ceiling and it will run the length of the ceiling and I'm going to install an exhaust fan out here if you can see it actually goes out there it's not sealed closed uh, and on this side I've already started to insulate but you can see um, I'm gonna carve this back a little bit more to make room for that uh, exhaust pipe to go up at an angle and go out I'll probably put the fan at this end since there's a little bit more clearance here um, and so I've insulated with only just one layer uh, up here um, and then I'll have what I'm gonna do is make a vent tube uh, either out of a dryer pipe or some aluminum cans probably aluminum cans because they're a smaller diameter dryer pipe is four inch and I don't I know there's not that's only about one inch right in here uh, and when I cut this away I think that opening up in there is about three inches tall so I already ordered a fan um, a 12 volt fan and that is uh, going to be like a computer exhaust fan at the bottom that cools your computer uh, laptop So I ordered one of those off of eBay, and I'm going to install that at the end there, run the wires down, they'll go down to my battery, and uh, I'll be able to, um, then when I run the uh, venting up here, so I'll, I'll put a little uh, circular tube that runs down here, have an opening here that I can cover over with an insulation if it's cold or if it's hot, if I want that on or not, uh, don't want that air to backflow into the house here and then when I turn on the fan at the end it will suck all the air from the roof line of the camper and it'll suck it all up so that I'll have a heat exhaust at the top it'll act as one of those vent fans in the RV but I don't have that uh, kind of money. Don't, I also don't have that kind of space. This is just uh, a few inches up here. At the ceiling making a roof vent. Hi Mac. Hi Mac. <laughs> and so uh, what I did was I took a regular dryer duct and uh, I split it down the line down the center. What I did to uh, I marked it with a uh, marker and what I did was I just laid it in a drawer and uh, used the edge of the drawer as a straight line and so uh, as long as the piece itself was level in the drawer I got a straight line across the tube so I, t I used tin snips and I sliced this open and now what I'm gonna do because I this is a four inch diameter and I only need about a two inch diameter I could have used soda cans and made one big long to tube out of it but uh, this was really more professional. I mean, this is a sturdy, semi-rigid piece of dryer duct. So this will, uh, this is what it's meant to do. So rather than have tin cans up in the ceiling, I don't know. So uh, I, I'm slicing this and now, so what I want to do is I need to squeeze it together. And I need to do it with two hands, of course. But you see one side goes in the diameter and the outer side will go around and so I'm going to make this uh, opening a smaller circumference and then I will be able to put it up as my roof vent. So let me do that now.
slice the bottom and top of the can off. But this piece has to go inside the next can that's here. So we need to make this slightly smaller to go inside the can. And the way to do that is you take a little needle nose pliers. Just about an eighth of an inch, a quarter of an inch is all you need to grab a hold of it. And you give a little tweak. And you go around and kind of crimp the edges. And then, uh, when I get those connected, I'm going to put a piece of masking tape around the middle of it to hold the two cans together and make a row of them for my vent piece, which is going to be about eight feet long. and I need to make those straps to hold up my vent. So I thought I would just snip at an angle. And just go all the way up the can. which will come out like this, then I can open it up and like that. And then I can just screw a little, put a little screw in on this side, a little screw in on this side, snip it to whatever length I need, and it'll hold up the uh, row. And what